Okay, so we go create new layer. Let's call it where. And for the where, I want to just use it single color. You know, kind of white, something what maybe reflect salt or something. Okay, and you can play with different presetting materials as you need it. So we'll go edit again. Let's open map and we'll go to select where. And if you purchase this tutorial, all of these maps as well as the um, project files will include it. So you can always refer to them and they use as you need it. Okay, let's go click OK. Okay, we'll create a new layer. Let's call this uh, deposit. Okay, till we're here, I'm just going to edit paste let me set this to the object parametric and I think where as well need object parametric so that will help a little bit okay right here I want actually set it's almost black color on this one so let's go around so presence right there and let's edit our function just replace our map with a newer map that we created so again this will be flow will be deposit and i'm going to use a tff for this because i don't need transparency inverse click ok so right here we kind of already preset for the mountain so let's preview see what we have it so far and as it going we can see right here we have a nice flow on the mountains kind of nice um, somewhat rocky look Let's work now a little bit more on inside um, this area. And for this one, I want to start work with a kind of sandy beach look. So we'll go create new layer. So we'll go this way. Let's create also switch this to natural grain. And as natural grain, I'm going a little bit more sandy look. So I have this color and maybe somewhat wet sand color. So we can make a grain between those two. Contrast, distortions. Let's go with the presence all the way. Okay, we'll go with transparency again, pop up all the way. Paste function. We can edit now function. And let's go right here. Okay, I don't need this one. A little loaded different one and we'll go select our ng so let's go see how it will apply it okay i need it inverse because i need to just apply the black right in this area let's click ok and switch to object parametric so it should apply it you can see right on the middle we can blend even better if you want it by using our alpha boost. So it's kind of somewhat blend, but again, this is already applied very nicely. So the next, let's create uh, now cover for those rocks. Okay, and for the rocks, probably something maybe a little bit more greenish I want to create. I will have it some green on top, but on a lower, it should be kind of like almost black green kind of maybe around that color okay so we'll apply this way let's go global object parametric okay variable based function we'll go edit right here we'll go open and we'll go set up to our rocks but we have a two we have it bottom and overall so i'm going to select overall cover because this is what will go on the middle of these rocks you can see right here and i want to leave this um in some cases with a water color so we have a little bit more depth depth pro kind of projections but again i'm leaving this and we can again just slightly move it over and let's final layer okay so it's a
And then next, what I want to do is this rocks itself. So we'll go create a rocks. Okay, let's go select right here, transparency. Again, change our transparency with the rocks. And for those rocks, actually, because they will be a little bit on top, I want to create maybe something green so they can stand out a little bit. Go open, inverse it, click OK, object parametric, and right here, let's go to select maybe something a little bit lighter, greenish, maybe kind of like this. So they will be going just on the top okay we're done at this point i do recommend for you save your work okay so next let's go create a water and i'll just go to create kind of like cube won't be that fancy just right here so in the lake water Something like maybe around right here. Okay. And I'm just bringing up so it's kind of, we have a little bit of rock, seeing all this effect. And I'm going to switch my material to um, tropical water. Let's also edit transparency and a little bit more murky, kind of look murky. Okay, next, um, I want in my camera properties, turn off after exposure. And to bring a little bit more colors out, I'm going to switch my from atmosphere for the metric to standard. So you can see it's kind of brought a little bit more colors to the um, leg. So it does not look necessarily realistic, but it is give me Some respect for the colors, that's what I'm going after. Okay, we'll go bring closer. Okay, maybe just adjusting slightly. Okay, let's go take our sun position. Just try to readjust again right here, something glowing, so I will check that maybe in a second and i'm going to go to atmosphere editor i don't want to create any clouds but i do want to take my haze and just add a little bit on the end okay so let's go render as a preview okay you can see we have a very interesting like glowing some material on the back so this is like um with the lights kind of very interesting applied you know what, in some cases it's look not that bad, so okay, let me set settings, we'll go bring sun a little bit more closer up okay, I want to go inside the water and just overall verify it so we don't have anywhere Kind of glowing, it's look okay. Let's go transparency. So our America what it's add this kind of glowing. So we we'll want to take a little bit more down. There you go, just create a little bit Maybe even more clear. Okay, now it's look nicer. Okay, let's take the camera. just bring out and you can play right here set up as you want it how you think it's will better fit with what you try to do i think this work okay now so i'm just render final for now as it uh for this tutorial so we'll go to render i'm pausing tutorial and we'll come back when render is completed okay, so right here we completed our render and we can also, it's to go in five minutes. You can use it to remember those maps, not just for the coloring, as well as distribution 
of the materials if you need it. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please remember this dust on the web is www.geekatplay.com.